And with the governor's possible removal from office, we're looking at some of the important moments during his time in office. Sherry Falk is live in the studio with that part of our team coverage. Sherry? Lisa, let's start with January 27, 2011. As John Packey mentioned just moments ago, that was the day the former doctor and two-term state representative was inaugurated as governor. Governor Bentley faced his first big challenge three months later on April 27, 2011. That's when he had to declare a state of emergencies after dozens of tornadoes tore through the state. The following year, Governor Bentley announced the decision to construct an Airbus aircraft assembly plant in Mobile. It was about a year and a half later that then First Lady Diane Bentley secretly recorded phone calls between the governor and another woman. Later that year, Bentley was reelected for a second term. Now, just about a year ago is when word about a possible relationship with an aide became public knowledge. That happened after Spencer Collier, the former head of the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, was fired. The governor acknowledged making personal mistakes but denied having an affair. Since then, there has been an Alabama Ethics Commission investigation along with one by the House Judiciary Committee. And Guy, just last week, as we've heard, we've been talking about, the Ethics Commission said it found probable cause that the governor violated ethics and campaign finance laws. Lisa?